My name is David Shuford, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer at Blue Acorn. I'm on the Magento Advisory Board and a Certified Solutions Specialist. This video is for those not familiar with Magento, but will be useful for Magento 1 users, as I'll be going into the backend to demonstrate new features only offered in Magento 2 Enterprise Edition. To start, Magento 2 Enterprise Edition provides an incredible foundation for e-commerce growth no matter what the size of your business. Many must-have e-commerce features are offered right out of the box. In fact, there are far too many features to discuss in the amount of time given for this demo, and I would suggest viewing other Blakehorn demos and blog articles for more information on Magento 2 Enterprise Edition. However, this demo will give you an overview of product types, page structure, and touch on some of the most useful features of Magento 2 Enterprise Edition. Some features, which are worth mentioning, that will not be demoed but are now featured in Magento 2 are the use of a CSS preprocessor and jQuery, its new component-oriented architecture, an integrated testing framework, and the built-in integration with Rabbit Message Queue, which allows for more robust integration into third-party systems. For more information on these features, check out the link in the description of this video. We'll be adding links to this new content as we develop it. Jumping into the native content layout on Magento, you can see the site navigation in the header, layered navigation in the left column, the main content area with the banner image and the products, Magento leaves the far right column available for CTAs, product comparisons, and any other content an administrator would like to add to this particular category page. Seven different product types exist within Magento. A simple product or a one-size-fits-all product. These are the most commonly used product types and are used in the creation of any product that only has a single SKU associated to it. On this page, I would like to point out the ability to add related products and upsells. You will notice on this page the tiered pricing. Magento enables you to set price rules based on quantity and customer types. Configurable. This product type enables your customers to select different variances or attributes of a product. For example, you can sell a hoodie in different sizes and colors. On this page, I would like to point out the sizing chart. Magento uses a block concept which enables a site administrator to add and control chunks of content that can be displayed and reused throughout the site. They're perfect for sizing charts, seasonal banners, sales blocks, return policies, and anything that would make sense to modularize. It makes maintaining your site much easier. Grouped products. This is a product using one or more existing products in your store. This product type allows the customer to add as many or as few products as they would like. On this page, I'd like to point out the ability to view and write reviews. Review attributes, such as quality, value, and price, are completely customizable, and the moderating of these reviews is done through the backend. A bundled product, also known as a kit product, is similar to a grouped product, but is ideal for circumstances where the user must select between a number of configurable options. This yoga kit allows the shopper to customize it. Virtual products are products that do not have a physical or digital counterpart. They do not ship, nor do they have a downloadable link. An example of this would be a warranty or service. As you can see here, Magento natively offers wishlist and product comparison. Downloadable products are similar to virtual products, except that they include the ability to add digital files for download. This can be a PDF, MP3, or many other types of files. Magento natively offers gift cards. They can either be virtual or physical. The admin has the ability to predefine a set amount for the gift card, or let the shopper choose. Next, I'll review the new and improved checkout process. When entering checkout, the shopper enters their email address and an Ajax call is used to determine if it already exists. If the email address is found, it will allow the user to enter their password and sign in. Next, the user enters their shipping information and selects the available shipping methods. Magento uses another Ajax call to determine the available methods based off the information entered above. Lastly, the shopper can enter a different billing address, apply a discount and or gift certificate, and place the order. If the shopper checked out as a guest, they now have the ability to register after checkout. Now jumping into the backend or admin panel, I will show you how easy it is to edit product and category information. Magento displays the products in a filterable list that makes it much easier to find your products from Magento 1. From here, you can create new products or edit existing ones. Clicking on the product allows you to edit the name, price, images, description, and any other information associated to the product. A very important feature of Magento is product attributes. An attribute is a property or characteristic of a product. Magento gives the admin user the ability to easily edit or create new attributes. So without relying on a database expert or backend developer, the admin user can create additional product content as needed. Rule-based product relations enable you to set the conditions for related products, upsells, and cross-sells. As you can see here, I've created a rule that automatically upsells all women's wintry tops with women's wintry bottoms. 
Category creation and organization is incredibly easy. You simply create a folder hierarchy. Editing categories is similar to products. Clicking on the category enables you to edit all category information and set design and display options. You can even set user permissions based on customer group and stores. For the admin user that doesn't want to maintain each individual category, Magento allows the admin user to set up rule-based categories. In this example, I've created a category that places all blue-colored items with 100 or more quantity. Similar to the catalog section, the customer section holds all information associated with customers. Clicking on the customer enables you to edit and view information on that particular customer. Magento gives the admin the ability to control the cart of any shopper that is signed in. Customer groups allow you to associate customers to a particular group. This is important because when creating private members or wholesale websites, it enables your store to prevent or grant access to particular members based on their group association. Customer segments are similar to groups, but are created dynamically. I have created a group for males that live in South Carolina that have spent at least $100. Once you set the conditions for these segments, you can then apply permissions to them automatically. Permissions are broken down into catalog price rules and cart price rules. Catalog price rules are enacted on products before they are added to the cart, generally at the catalog level. As you can see here, I created a 20% discount for all women's and men's pants using the different condition settings. Cart price rules are applied when the customer reaches the shopping cart. I created a buy three, get four free rule for t-shirts. The sales section holds all information regarding orders, invoices, shipments, and returns. Once an order is placed, it appears in the orders list. Once an item is fulfilled and shipped, an invoice is created and appears in the invoice list. Similar to products and customers, clicking on an order allows you to make edits, add comments, and send customer email notifications. Integrating orders, invoices, and shipments with an ERP or order management system can be done using Magento's API and new RabbitMQ integration. Integrating using Magento's web services and other methods are covered in a later demo. The Systems tab is used to configure settings within your website or websites. A few features I'd like to mention is the ability to set user permissions. For instance, a site administrator should have access to all parts of the backend, but a content editor might only have access to content blocks and marketing sections. Configuring shipping and payment methods is handled through the system configuration section. Natively, Magento allows several different shipping methods, flat rate and table rate calculations, along with integrations to UPS, USPS, FedEx, and DHL. Magento allows you to easily enter your account information to start receiving your negotiated rates in real time. Payment settings and methods. Magento out of the box integrates with several different payment gateways. Braintree, Authorize.net, Cybersource, WorldPay, PayPal, and a few others. Lastly, I'd like to touch on Magento 2 Enterprise Edition's ability to create multiple websites and private sales. This is a great way to create your B2B site, but manage everything from the same backend. As you can see, I've created a B2B site and a separate B2C site with different language options. The feature shown in this demo, along with many of the others not demonstrated, is why Magento 2 Enterprise Edition is the perfect solution for your e-commerce needs.